Ten years ago, former New York pre-med student Trevor LaPaglia realized the medical profession wasn't for him. So he packed his bags and moved to Los Angeles to pursue his dream of being an actor. I grew up doing theater since I was 10 years old. And, uh, you know, being from a small town, you don't, you never consider following the arts. And then I, I kind of went through a hard time and it made me realize I needed to do something for myself. I wasn't happy. Um, and I knew, I knew pursuing the arts would make me really happy. As a new Angelino, Trevor found employment in the restaurant industry. When I moved here, I was 20 years old and I got a job at California Pizza Kitchen. I remember making like 40 to $60 a shift at times. It was, oof, it was rough. And it dawned on me, I was like, how can I make the most money in the least amount of time, but still have the flexibility to honor my acting career? And I realized bartending. He was introduced to the trendy nightlife in West Hollywood and landed a bartending job at one of the most famous, iconic bars in town, Trunks. I feel so lucky to be at Trunks. Trunks is like a neighborhood bar. I don't know if you remember the show Cheers. Very similar to Cheers. It has the brass railings, the locals. It's very diverse. It's gay, straight, young, old, like everyone's welcome. Trevor's acting career and bartending job quickly came to a halt when COVID-19 spread to America. The world shut down even the bustling streets of West Hollywood. On my bike, I see, I see the city in different ways and it's, it's very surreal. Like I'm, I'm driving and there's no traffic. It's like the twilight zone, to be honest. Had Trevor stayed in pre-med and not followed his dream, he'd be fighting the coronavirus with other medical professionals. I often wonder what it'd be like if I didn't live this parallel life, like if I was still pursuing that career. So now I imagine I'd be in the hospital working the front lines, it would be a lot to handle, to be completely honest with you. With the stay at home order in place, Trevor fills his days with home projects and business ventures. Like I built this whole shelving unit in my bedroom that took me a week, and now everything's so organized and everything's lifted up, so now I have a weight off my chest, just the fact that I finally got that done, that I would have never gotten to if this hadn't happened. And I've reconnected with some other people in the industry. I'm in a really great class uh, with a teacher named Rob Brownstein. Classes have been moved to Skype and Zoom. Um, I'm in another business course. We meet one, once a month. It's really great. Until life returns to normal, Trevor looks forward to sunnier days ahead. The one positive thing, like dealing with the pros and cons of this terrible situation, you know, I think people will appreciate things they didn't appreciate before. Um, I know for me, I can't wait to get out and just see people. <laughs> Simple. Like, uh, going to the restaurant, having a drink, you know, all those things. And now I'm gonna show you how to make my favorite cocktail from the comfort of my home. Let's start with ice. I'm using my favorite uh, crystal glass because I grew up never being able to use my parents' fancy crystal and now I'm an adult and I can. So let's take some just cheap vodka, Svetka, it's really decent for the price. And I'm gonna divide it into three equal parts. So we're gonna use Svetka, Cucumber lime Gatorade, believe it or not, which you can find at like Ebony 7-Eleven or grocery store, and lemonade. So three equal parts. Do vodka, and we could measure it all out, but you really don't need to do that. It's just one. Drink. You got cucumber lime Gatorade, lemonade. Maybe we'll add a little, a little bit of lemon to it. Why not? Make it look cute. Just did a little wheel with a slip. Yeah, cheers you guys to my cucumber vodka lemonade. Or cheers to you at home for making this. And thanks for watching. <laughs>